Today, we're going to talk about how to come up with unlimited content ideas. So there's a lot of tools out there. You can end up using SEMrush, Ahrefs to see what your competitors are creating out there and what's popular. Uber suggests has a top pages feature where you can put in any competitor URL and it shows you what's popular based on SEO traffic, social shares, and backlink count. And so the public has one where it pulls from Google Suggest and breaks down what people are typing. So in essence, what's starting to trend or what's trending, and you can create content around all those keywords. But there's a lot of tools that can end up helping you out with that. Another thing that you can do if you want content ideas and you're struggling, there's a lot of AI tools where it's like, you know, copy.ai, Jasper, where you can actually put in keywords. And here's a crazy thing. It'll give you a ton of title ideas. It'll also help you write the whole article. And then you're going to have to go and modify it to make it better. But the AI tools can keep giving you more and more ideas. Eric and I talked about this in a few past episodes, but just keep in mind, a lot of the AI tools are also creating duplicate content. So you just got to go in and heavily modify them. Yep. What I would say is in addition to the tools that Neil's mentioning, I just, I like looking at exploding topics, exploding topics is from our mutual friend, Brian Dean to come up with content ideas. I also like looking at Google trends. I also like looking at what people are searching on my own website. So if you have some volume on your own website, just use the internal search feature and you can see what people are looking for. Cause you can see all the queries. And then the other thing is when we come up with content ideas for this podcast, oftentimes we'll look at our analytics to see what the top performers are. So take a look at your analytics, whether it's your Google analytics, whether it's your webmaster tools, or in, in the case of this podcast, we just look at what episodes tend to perform well. And, you know, I mean, it's it, no surprise, like a lot of our SEO content marketing stuff tends to perform well, because I guess that's kind of our background. And so you can look at the the, the lagging indicators, I, exploding topics and Google trends are kind of the, the forward indicators, but also look at the news, right? So every morning I might check what's hot on Twitter. So I pay for Twitter blue. It's like $11 a month or something for Apple. And so I can see what's hot, but then I can also see what's hot on Wall Street Journal. I can look at the, I have this thing called the Economist Espresso. So it gives me like little bite-sized pieces on what's happening in the world. And so I can see what's hot very quickly and then I can choose to react to that content or I can just choose to share stories about what's actually working for us or you know look at the, the you know look at my analytics. So there's a lot of different ways to do it. I think what's important is not necessarily using all the tools that we're talking about here, but figuring out what stack works for you because maybe that's two or three different things because just because we're saying like oh like we probably mentioned like eight or nine different things here, I don't want you to feel stressed to have to use every single one of them. Test what works for you if you're early in your career, test test all these tools and then you're going to figure out what what cadence works best. Yeah, look, follow all that. You'll have a limited content ideas. The big thing is not coming up with ideas that marketers mess up on. It's actually executing, creating the content and getting it published and promoting it. So just make sure you follow through and publish a lot of the content that you're creating and update it. Because if it gets too old, you'll notice that your ranking starts slipping as well. Yep. All right. If you want to come hang out with us in Miami, February 12 to 14, where it's nice and warm, levelingup.com slash founders. It's for seven to nine figure founders. And it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be fun. You can throw Neil and I into the pool. So that is it for today.